dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's my birthday, and we take a look at Persona 3. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Today is August the 13th, my birthday, <laughs> and we're taking a look at the video game Persona 3. Yes, that's right, and this was an Atlas Studio uh, uh, game, uh, came out in 2007 or 2008, depending on where you are, uh, for the PlayStation 2, PlayStation Portable, and PlayStation Network, I think it's on, oh yeah, it's right here, um, and this is one of those weird Japanese ones, F E S edition, yo, is, is this, J-R-P-G, F E, if, what is it? Just keep going, F whatever. Okay, this is one of those Japanese games that has the anime type of story that's just kind of so odd, you don't quite know, I, I, for me, in my opinion, you don't really quite understand it, but essentially what happens quite is... essentially JRPG. Yes, yes, yes. Essentially what the story is, is in a high school, um, I should mention that there's an hour between two days, so when one day becomes the second day, there's an hour in between where everyone else kind of becomes unconscious and like turns into a coffin or something because that makes sense um and then the people who are still alive uh just kind of wander around and they suffer the consequences of possibly being eaten or their brain their mind their mentality being eaten by these shadow creatures um so your your characters are but group mostly a group of high school students wandering around there they've given themselves a name called the s-e-e-s or specialized extracurricular execution squad and they can summon their personas which are these weird kind of creatures their second personalities uh, and they summon them by shooting themselves usually in the head and i guess it's very emo in that way i, I don't understand it uh and then they summon that and then they can take on the the shadows and hopefully save the day and that's essentially the story um this is one of your favorite games you wanted to review it on your birthday so why don't you take it away yeah, I really like the Persona series, particularly Persona 3, which is why I'm looking at it. Persona 4, I still haven't gotten to the end of, because these are big, big investments. Uh, for instance, Persona 3 is like 80 hours, and then if you get the FES edition, which I have, it's like another 30 hours on top of that. Plus, you know, you can take as much time as you want, really, I mean, more or less, because there is actually kind of a, a driving thing. Anyway, um, uh, so 4 is, is solid as well, but this is by far my favorite. It just does so many great things. Um, and it is one of those quintessent. I mean, this is where the term JRPG came from. This sort of game. Um, what the time that he's talking about midnight? You know, it's it's kind of one of those things, the thinnest, you know, space in between the spiritual world and our world kind of thing. Um, and so you're you're putting together your ragtag group, you know, and uh, you play as an unnamed guy, although he does have a name. Yeah, in the uh, manga and in the anime, there it's Minato Arisatio or Makato. Yuki, respectively. Which I really, I really enjoy his character. I enjoy the aesthetics of it, and he's got, his, you know, he's always got his uh, uh, headphones around his neck and stuff. Anyway, it's just kind of a fun thing. Now it's all teen, and uh, the game goes between kind of the Final Fantasy aspect of it of fighting and going through this mansion, basically fighting the shadow things, or uh, you know, kind of going to see a movie and trying to get that girl that you like to date you and stuff like that. And that might sound really dorky, but if you've played these, then you know how much fun it can be. Uh, I really enjoy it. It's one of my guilty pleasures. And uh, it's really kind of a cross between, you know, Final Fantasy, which I mentioned, maybe even Pokemon, because you, like, get all your personas and you can level them up or, you know, it, you can interchange them. Like, you can take two different personas, blend them together, and you get a completely unique persona, stuff like that. Um, it does have the kind of dorky dating sim kind of feel, like you, you actually do set up m meetings with your friend or whatever, and then sometimes there's a girl that you really want to have like or whatever, but it does actually count in the game. Like, there are, there are choices that you can make that will help you in the game, and you can relate to some characters, then you can totally dismiss other characters if you want. Like, it really gives you that, that ability, so you do feel like it's a, a living, breathing world that way. Now, if that sort of thing doesn't interest in you, then you might not like this this type of thing because, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea to read dialogue while you're, like, meeting someone over a, over a ramen bowl or something. But I really get a kick out of it sometimes. Now, of course, it has to be counterbalanced with some cool, you know, action or some unique stuff, and this has plenty of that. Um, 
there is, you know, you, you grind it out. You, you, you go and you find all these monsters, you, you fight them one by one. Some are incredibly difficult, a lot of them are kind of easy, but you'll never know. In fact, there are some that are intermediate that could kick your ass if you're not doing it correctly. So save often if you're playing this game. Um, also, there is a member of the group uh, that will, uh, always, that will scan, has a scanning ability. So you can scan for weaknesses and then play according to their weaknesses kind of thing, like your, your enemies. Um, the personas are a hell of a lot of fun. There's so many of them. They range from, you know, bird looking things to creepy little girls to, you know, one of them like Alice in Wonderland, you know, kind of girl. And then big old monsters and like demons and, you know, it's just all this kind of Final Fantasy-esque kind of stuff. And again, you talked about the invoking, the process is you blow your brains out. And it's kind of a, it's more of a, a, you know, a metaphorical thing or whatever, a spiritual thing. And you're kind of removing your own persona and then gaining the other persona and you fight as that. Much like you summon, what is it, Ion? Or what are they called in uh, well, Final Fantasy? Well, they're called so many things. There's the Aeons, the Aeons. Guardian Forces, yeah. and what was the third one? Let's good enough. Summonings, whatever. Uh, anyway, so this, basically with the Final Fantasy, it just takes it to another level where you have all these unique personalities that you interact with. I think a little bit more give and take than in Final Fantasy. I mean, yes, there's a lot of similarness in Final Fantasy, but... This one, you literally go to class with them, and it depends on your interaction and whether they're going to like you or not. And um, so there's a kind of an open-ended feel here. Um, just talking about it is enough to realize that not everybody's going to jive with this, not everybody's going to care. Um, but I, I would think that you would like it, actually, because of, like, Nino Kuni and stuff, but you don't seem to be interested. Well, in the thing about it is, is that the dating sim and the day-to-day... -day... You don't have to do that. I know, but... You know, I'm the type of person who, if you give me a game, I'm going to be as thorough as possible with it. I'm going to play everything, and I that just doesn't do anything. Yeah, you're going to get like Skyrim Beyond hours out of this if you did that. Yeah, it's a huge game. Yeah, it's a huge game. Um, now, I dig the art. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like Aegis, I guess. I guess is um, she's the robotic, you know, girl that you befriend or whatever. So she has a lot of interesting stuff behind her. In fact, in the FES edition, most of the 30 hours are around her. In this game, um, yeah, <laughs> they have this for like the PS Vita, Vita and stuff. I mean, it is a big game. A lot of people like it, and yeah, I again, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I love this friggin' game, and Persona Four is another huge game. I just haven't gotten through because I just don't have the same kind of time I did, you know, ten years ago. But uh, I love these games. I really, really do. Ten years ago, well, not ten, but yeah, it, it, was, it was a while ago. This yeah. was two thousand seven. Well, I mean, I'm talking about Persona two as well. They were all, they're ah. all huge, man. They're all huge. But yeah, I mean, this one is highly regarded. Um, you know, best of two thousand seven kind of thing, is what it says here on the back, actually. Does it? So again, it's a very unique experience. These games. So if you think you might like it, if it sounds interesting, uh, go online and and watch some reviews. You know, you'll see actual gameplay. If you like Final Fantasy, wouldn't be, you know, a problem for you to add a little bit of, like, Sims in there. Because it literally is, you know, like, you know, walk over here to talk to these people or what, you know, it's got a, the same kind of appeal. Um, and then the music is also something I need to mention because right. the music is fun and for some reason it doesn't really get old to a lot of us that like this game. But boy, can I see the potential for it getting old really quick because it's very distinct it's always the same music. Like in Persona 4, it's almost the same music as Persona 3. Huh. It's it's very JRPG. It's very kind of J-pop kind of thing. And for some reason, it just works so well to people who like this game. But other people, I, I don't know, it could drive them nuts. I mean, because it's so repetitive. It's like instantly you hear one bar and it's like, oh yeah, Persona, I'm right there. I'm back in it, you know. Right. But when I was doing research, uh, it's funny because I looked up the music because someone had commented uh, a little bit ago about we forgot to mention the music in, a, in something uh, and I forget what it was I'm sorry about that uh, and I probably commented back so you, you already have my answer anyways so I was looking up music for this and the music got very high reviews I mean all the reviews for this game was high it was like in the 80s and 90s uh, mostly in the 90s but the, the music itself was like really high it was like everyone loved the music so right but again everybody loves this game right because they're the only ones that would play it the people that would like it are the ones that play it the people that don't like this they know not to get into this right so, so I kind of think it's a little, I mean, I could just, I could totally see it driving people nuts because it is the same thing over and over. And it is this very distinct style. It's like this girl singing to the J-pop kind of thing. And it's just over and over and over. But for some reason for us, it just kind of fades in the background and almost drives it. I don't know. 
it's like okay you know because this song is playing this is like i need to you know get this girl to like me or give her a gift or something i don't know it's just again it's right. just, it feels dorky to talk about but i really do enjoy this game i've sunk so many hours into persona the uh, three is the best man it's, right it's awesome they go to the beach at some point. It's so fun. No, well, they actually go on vacation, but it's 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 you know it's somebody's like uncle. I can't remember. It's been long enough. And there's you know mystery unfolds and all this stuff. And then every night at midnight, you have to choose whether you want to go into, uh, you know, grind in the mansion kind of thing. And um, you know, you pick your personas, you blend your personas, so you're always training your new persona and figuring out. Well, what if I tried this one and this one together? It's just so much fun. And there are a lot of quirky characters. Persona Four has almost more memorable characters in a way um they still have i guess and stuff but uh, yeah there's uh, like teddy and st- i don't know it's whatever i mean you played right persona 4 arena and i think that's enough for you right yeah that you was... didn't like that part of it well i i i dug it i would just rather play a game similar to that uh, guilty gears i think i would rather play guilty gears than, than well okay but i'm not talking about that i'm talking about the in in between stuff the story stuff oh yeah the yeah that, that, that was long yeah the, the in between stuff was kind of long and tedious to read um, but for the most part, as far as how this game is, I think I would like it for everything except for that dating sim. And I think mostly because... Well, like I said, you don't have to do any of that. Yeah, but y- you know me. I, I would. Because I kind of have to. And well, I... but then you're going to run into, like, you can't get every girl to like you. So you have to specifically go... I always I go for the ones... I always I go can. for the ones that don't talk to me. Those are, like, a challenge to me. So that's what I go for. Huh. Or I'll, like, go for, the like, the teacher or something. Just to see what happens. You don't get very far. <laughs> Really? Um, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, the redheaded uh, chick, uh, what is it, Mitsura? Is that her name? Student council president? No, that's the girl. Uh, whatever. Yeah, it's the little girl. Anyway, you, you'll get a lot of these characters. I, my apologies for getting them wrong. It's been long enough that I haven't played this game. But it was my birthday, so I was like, screw it. I'm going to do one of my favorite games right. that we don't talk about. So, Although we did do Persona 4 read now, and I touched on it then. But uh, I do love this game, and I think it's still valid today. If it sounds interesting to you, you should check it out if you haven't already. Agreed. And, um, yeah, it, Hours and hours. That's what I'm saying. There are people who literally just play this game, like no other game. That's, That's weird to me. what they, they invest in, and it's just over and over. Well, you know, people that were really into WoW, it was kind of the same thing. You know, yeah. They do that, although that's different. I've been and switching. Those people that do the alternative life, or what's it called? Other life? Right? Oh, oh. Where they live another life, right. they get married and stuff inside right. the game. Right, it, yeah, it's what similar. is that game called? Yeah, something like It's that. similar to that, but to me it's more it's fun weird. because it's, it, it's also like an anime, right? It, mm-hmm. it has some anime cutscenes that are just awesome. But it's just, it's got that feel. It's got kind of, a, you know, tiny bit of a chibi in there. Not really. But it's more like playing an anime. I really do, really do enjoy it. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I I don't know what to say because... I, I, Let's the, get some yakitori. Okay. It's just, it's just, the, the I, I, I love the idea of it. Although... The uh, the story the actual story is kind of convoluted. Like, why is everyone a coffin? I really don't understand. Oh, man, that's that. so much fun. It offers yeah, so much it, fun. It, and it makes it makes it makes it a lot more fun. But I I'm more of a fantasy guy. I, I'm more of a Green Saga anime kind of guy. Oh, there's lots of that too. Yeah, though. but not really. They're, well, they're, it's one of those things that right. That kind of you have punk. the simness of it. I, I guess that's the thing is it's very jarring to some people because it is this weird mix. Because yes. Because you have action awesomeness that's Final Fantasy and all epic and creepy and cool and whatever and then you know you have the day time where you're interacting going to school and all that stuff right so it's always fun though for me it's like oh wow we really should put this off i need to you know i need to establish this relationship or something before i go or i have one more thing i need to find like a book or something that'll unlock something or persona or whatever so i'm always kind of using the day to kind of you know go about my paces build relationships and figure things out and then at night you know when you decide to go in you just got to grind and again save often because you'll come across one that's like oh yeah i got this no it kicks your ass yeah like there are one hit kills in this and if you die it's over it's not one of those things where you just jump to another character if you die it's over so you have to keep your main character alive um but i i don't know man it, it's just a lot of fun i don't know how else to explain it and uh, what actually sucked me into this a long time ago um, was the blowing your brains out. Yeah. I think that's a cool thing. Makes sense. <laughs> it's a cool thing. Suicide, yep. They're not suicide. They're not suiciding at all. I know. It's it's the idea of it. Yeah. Yeah, bad. no, I gotcha. I gotcha. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's a very unique uh, kind of game. And if you haven't heard about it, you owe yourself to look into it. You might not like it, but give it a shot for me. Agreed. That's my birthday wish. 
All right, guys, is there anything else? No, I believe that's it. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, follow our great playlists. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right, T-shirts, a card game, art prints, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we, so find us and friend us, and if I'm online, I will talk to you all day. And we are blogging. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, giving you an insight to the world I've created for 10 plus years. Take a look if you like it, support it, and um, yeah, support me. And my blog is nicholasbach.tumblr.com. It's essentially just my uh, short stories and poetry, so if you're interested, just go ahead and read it. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys. See you later. Aw, oh, you're not going to give it to me, you bastard. It's my birthday. Ooh. Next up, the tabletop game, Roma. Stupid bug bites. That's what you get. Stupid mosquitoes. They love me, I'm so tasty. I'm not sure what, you know, mosquitoes look for in human blood, but I got it. I thought they liked sweet. Okay, you're probably... Yeah, I, I don't... I'm not that sweet, you know, a personality, and I don't eat a lot of sugar, so... I can't tell you that. Alright, we're gonna do that one over. Really? Yeah, because you took my birthday point. Asshole. Okay. I'll let you get yours on your birthday. I think. <laughs> Either that or it was like the weekend, and so I didn't have to prove that. Happy birthday, man. Thanks.